Hello students, today I am here to explain you about the chromosomal abnormalities. Let us see the meaning of chromosomal abnormality. What do we mean by chromosomal abnormality? So, chromosomal abnormality means it is the abnormality in any pairs of the chromosomes. As you know, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. So, this abnormality can occur in any of the 23 pairs. So, that is nothing but chromosomal abnormalities. Going to the next slide, the reasons for this chromosomal abnormalities. So, let us see one by one. So, endocrine imbalance is the first most reason for chromosomal abnormality. Because of the endocrinal imbalances or the hormonal imbalances, there may be chances of chromosomal abnormality which may occur in the mother which can be transferred to the next generation or the offspring or the offspring directly can inherit the chromosomal abnormality as a result of maternal endocrine imbalance. Next factor is the genetic factor or the heredity factor. Due to the improper or dysfunctional chromosomal pairs by the parents that may be transferred to the next generation may be the another reason to directly inherit the chromosomal abnormality among the offsprings. Another factor is the mutation. Mutation occurs as a result, a result of exposure to the radiation or x-rays. When the pregnant women are exposed to the radiations or atomic radiations or x-rays that may result in chromosomal abnormalities in the offsprings. Next one is addiction. Maternal addiction is another factor due to the maternal addi addictions like uh, uh, alcohol addiction or drug addictions of any other kind that may result in some of the changes in the bodily uh, functioning of the mother that may result in the chromosomal abnormality among their children. Another one is maternal age. If the mother aged more than 35 years, if she conceives then there are chances of chromosal, chromosomal abnormalities are more. Next another one is chance factor. Some chance factors also act for the development of chromosomal abnormality in children. Say for example, the improper pairing of chromosomes during the time of uh, meiosis may be the factor that is the chance factor for developing chromosomal abnormality among children. Going to the next slide, the types of chromosomal abnormalities. So, there are two types of chromosomal abnormalities mainly autosomal abnormality. Autosome are nothing but the 22 pairs of chromosomes, first two 22 pairs of chromosomes are called as autosomes. So, due to autosomal dysfunction, there may be chances of developing Down syndrome, phenylketonuria and sickle cells anemia. So, these are the autosomal abnormality related uh, chromosomal abnormalities and another one is sex chromosome abnormalities. Sex chromosome abnormalities are like the abnormality that occurs in the 23rd pair of the chromosomes that is the 23rd pair you know as you know 23rd pair is known as the sex chromosome. So, abnormality occurs in the 23rd pair of the chromosomes. So, there may be extra additional chromosomes, addition of X chromosome or Y chromosome or omission of one chromosome either X or Y or uh, defragmentation of any one chromosome that may result in sex chromosomal abnormalities. The examples for sex chromosomal abnormalities are like Klinefelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, XO syndrome, Fragile X syndrome like this. So, now as far as the syllabus is concerned, in this presentation I am going to explain only about the Down syndrome. Let us see what is Down syndrome. Down syndrome is the syndrome that was discovered by John Langdon Down. So, that is why it is named after his name that is Down syndrome. Down syndrome is also called as Mongolism because 
the resemblance of these individuals is similar to the people belonging to the Mongolian race. So, that is why they are called uh, this disorder is called as Down syndrome and also it is also called as trisomy 21 because in the 21st pair of the chromosomes the abnormality is seen in which there is extra X chromosome is present. So, due to this reason the individual develops Down syndrome congenitally. So, it is a congenital disorder by birth it comes. So, it is named as trisomy 21 also. So, it was as I told you earlier it was discovered by John Langdon Down. So, now let us go to the clinical features of Down syndrome. The physical appearance, how the physical appearance will be there of these individuals. So, the physical appearance they will have flattened nose, upturned nose, the eyes will be in the almond shape and also flat head, round head will be there and they are of short stature and these individuals will be flumpy kind of individuals and the next clinical feature is mental and behavioral characteristics. The mental going to the mental features or characteristics the individuals will be having IQ range that is starting from mild mental retardation to severe mental retardation. So, their IQ range will be around 65 to 70 in between 65 to 70 and these individuals regarding their behavioral patterns or characteristics these individuals are very friendly very social individuals. Next going to the causes of this down syndrome the causes for this down syndrome is the first one is endocrine imbalance that is the imbalance in any glands that occurs during the period of pregnancy that may result in the down syndrome in down syndrome like uh, uh, if you are giving, giving the examples the imbalance in the pituitary gland or the imbalance of the thyroid gland that may result in the in down syndrome another cause for this as the researchers says is the maternal age, the age of the mother if the lady conceives after the age of 35 to 40 in between this age range then the chances of developing down syndrome is more prevalent compared to the ages below 35. That is why the conducive age for having a baby is below 35 years according to the researchers. So, dear students now we have seen the chromosomal abnormalities. So, in which we have studied about what is chromosomal abnormality and going to the previous slide the meaning of chromosomal abnormality and reasons for chromosomal abnormalities the types the two types that is autosomal abnormality and sex chromosomal abnormalities and we have particularly studied about the chromosomal abnormality that is autosomal abnormality that is Down's syndrome in which we have studied about the uh, names, uh, clinical features and also causes for Down's syndrome. Thank you.